Hey everyone, welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich and today I'm going to show you how you can create a template document in Google Drive that will force others to make a copy rather than editing the original. Let me show you how. So here's a document that I created. It's a way for substitute teachers to be able to provide feedback for their time in my classroom. I wanna do this all paperless, so I'm going to share the link with them. Now let me show you a problem that happens. When I go to share the link, you can see I have this set up the way that I want. Anyone with the link is able to edit this. Okay, it sounds good. I'm going to copy that link. And now I'm going to email this with a number of different substitute teachers. So I've sent this link in an email to a number of different teachers. You can see right now, sub teacher number one fills this out. And this is perfect because this is exactly how I set it up. But the problem is I sent the same link to a number of different substitutes. So now this is substitute number two that opened it. And now rather than seeing this as a blank document, substitute two is actually seeing what substitute teacher number one is typing in. And I can change this, but now I've changed my document as well as the document of substitute number one. That's because I shared one link that everyone edits at the same time. That's why they call it collaborative editing because you're working on the document at the same exact time. If you look up at the top, that's me, and then you can see our other anonymous user, which is substitute number one. So this is not going to work. So there's something that you have to do in order to force a copy. So each time the substitute teacher opens up this document, it's going to create a new copy inside their drive that they can complete and then share with me. It's not going to change the original. Let me show you how. Okay, so now I'm back in under my regular account. So I'm going to select share and follow the same steps that I, as I did to share this as a link, but there's one small variation that I'm going to do. And I'm actually just going to scroll to the bottom here. Let me go to a different page. I'm going to paste the link right over here. Now, it's a little bit hard to see, but if I highlight, you can see the word edit. All I'm going to do is to replace that word edit with copy. Okay, so now you can see that edit has been replaced by copy. This is the link that I am going to share with my substitute teachers. So this is substitute number one. I'm just going to paste that link. And here it is. You'll notice that Google prompts users to log in. That's because in order to make a copy of that document, you obviously do have to have a Google Drive account for that to happen. So in this case, substitute number one would have to enter their credentials and be signed in. Now, once they're signed in, or if the user that I sent this to had already been signed in to Google, it will do this. It will give a prompt that says, would you like to make a copy of the name of this document? And I'm going to select make a copy. And now inside my Google Drive, you will see a document that says copy of substitute teacher feedback. This is the original. This is the copy that I used when I copied and pasted that link that I modified. So from here, my substitute teachers could fill out this document, share it back with me, and this way it's not going to affect the original document which is in my google drive when i share that link with others a copy of that document will automatically be made in their google drive so this is a quick way that will allow you to share any document and force a copy to essentially create a template i hope that this video has been helpful if you like this type of content feel free to subscribe and if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section below so thank you so much for watching this video and Tech Hustle and have a great day.